Hey, I'm Kier, and this is that vlog thing that I'm doing. Still in the new TV season, so I'm catching up on uh, shows pretty much the uh, a day or so, maybe a little bit longer uh, after they air, since I don't watch stuff in real time. Uh, just finished a little while ago watching the premiere episode of Quantico, a new show on ABC. Uh, looks like they've done it in exactly the same style uh, that they did How to Get Away with Murder in, uh, which means it's probably going to be at least moderately successful, since it capitalizes on uh, paranoia and fear. I'm guessing it's going to be very successful. Uh, those things seem to work really well. Uh, it's a procedural-type show. Uh, it's got some flavors of NCIS uh, from CBS, a popular show for a very long time now, still on. It's got a bit of a mystery involved. It's got a uh, bunch of good, interesting, quirky characters, so that'll, uh, that'll sell. I found it engaging enough. Uh, the performances for a pilot episode uh, were okay. People haven't fully gotten into their characters yet. Um, plus, who knows what we're going to discover about these characters. Uh, that the actors are going to discover about these characters. That's one of those things when you have a show with this much mystery and potential duplicity in it. Is that a lot of times the actors are caught as off guard uh, with some of the motivations for their characters as uh, we the viewers are. Which can lead to some interesting um, discoveries in going back and re-watching stuff, uh, where, as the viewers, with the later knowledge, we can look and go, oh, wow, that's amazing that he played that that way when his character later did this, or be really frustrated when the twist makes no sense whatsoever. Uh, most of the time, that's the fault of the writers and not the actors, because, well... The actors only know what's in the scripts, and uh, they can't, uh, don't usually have the chance to build their own character backstory. This particular uh, series uh, is about, we bounce back and forth between uh, the present day, which is some future date uh, where there's been a major terrorist attack on America, uh, again in New York City, uh, so capitalizing on uh, that still talked about wound there, uh, connected to the Democratic National Convention, so hitting the political uh, angle pretty hard there. And uh, the question is, who did it? Well, if you've seen any of the promos for the show, the real question is, which of these characters did it? Because they hint pretty strongly, they come right out and say, that one of them uh, did it, and that's going to be the point of, of the show, is to figure out which one of these characters that we're going to introduce you to did it. Uh, and then it flashes back to uh, their days at the Academy at, at Quantico, hence the name. So you have all these little discoveries, these parallel character development bits that can go on, uh, you have the audience already knowing stuff that goes on in the future. It's worked really well with uh, How to Get Away with Murder, which just came back for its second season. So if, if this show can pull it off as well, hey, great. Uh, for now, I'm going to keep watching it, but if it doesn't uh, do something really, really different and really exciting... Uh, I don't know if it'll keep me for the whole season, or uh, especially if it comes back for a second season. The uh, thing that would surprise me most, if they did this, I would be so incredibly happy. If they have it so that none of the characters did it, that would be awesome. If you have a completely external uh, antagonist who's setting all of these people up for a fall. That would be a brave, different choice. I don't expect that to happen. I don't, uh, I don't think it would play well uh, in the general population, which is who all of this stuff gets marketed to, it being on regular TV and all. Uh, but that's the sort of thing that would really excite me as a television viewer to uh, find out that all the characters we think are innocent and all the characters we think are guilty 
they're all just victims of what's going on. And then you can have them uh, have that full agency to uh, go out and make a change, uh, which, which is, which is kind of nice, as opposed to having one of the friendly characters uh, be a backstabber, be a terrorist, be a uh, emblem of how we should always be afraid of the person standing next to us, which I think we get way too much of in general. Uh, and, and I would like to see something a little more hopeful, a little different from the, the standard entertainment line these days, that, that we always have to be watching out for that enemy within. We can't trust anyone. I mean, even, even X-Files, with the tagline, trust no one, had people that Mulder and Scully knew they could trust. Especially people they didn't think were on their side to begin with. I think that's a, a very different message than we're getting from a lot of shows these days. A and I'd like to see more of that in our entertainment. So, we'll see what Quantico does. Uh, it's got a good cast. Uh, mostly uh, a lot of new faces in the cast, but there are a couple couple of very familiar ones. Uh, we've got uh, Josh Hopkins uh, getting back into a serious role after a bunch of seasons on uh, Cougar Town. Uh, so it's always good to see him. I, I've liked him in most stuff uh, that we've seen. Uh, the other really notable one for me, at, at least, is uh, Nick Kosnett, uh, who, who was Eddie Thorne on uh, on The Flash, and he's been in a handful of shows uh, concurrently, it seems. Uh, so he's he's been a busy guy, uh, so it, it was nice to see his face again. Uh, he's good. He I almost didn't recognize him, which is a testament to probably how good he is at embodying these different characters. Um, so, uh, and then the, the uh, cast also has a good amount of diversity in it, which, again, is something really nice to see. Uh, looks like we're going to get some strong female characters, uh, so, some twists and turns where the, uh, you know, typical types that we think are going to be the terrorists are going to turn out not to be. So we'll, uh, we'll see. I'm willing to give it a chance. Uh, definitely check it out. Uh, I was expecting it to be a little bland. It turned out not to be, so that's a win. That's it for tonight. Uh, if you liked what you saw, hit the like button down below. Uh, if you want to be sure you catch all of these as they come out, hit the subscribe button and then subscribe via email uh, by hitting the gear on that subscribe button. YouTube will take care of notifying you. Uh, about everything when, when it goes live. Uh, and then if there's other people that you want uh, to share this with, uh, share it with them. Just share this all over the place. And if you want to uh, talk about this show or anything else that, uh, that comes up here, hit the comments down below. Oh, and if you have something that you want to see me talk about, some show, new or old, anything like that, uh, there's a link in the description that'll take you to a little form on my website where you can make suggestions about what you want to see here. Uh, and then we can all be part of uh, this wild uh, journey together. That's it for me. Uh, I'm Kier, and I guess I'll see you tomorrow.